Welcome to Forest and Field, a hands-on kitchen and bath design center in Bloomsburg. Whether you're looking for a kitchen, bath, laundry room, home office, or exterior elements, it's all under one roof. It's certainly a place to be inspired for your next building or remodeling project. Well, we're here in the demo kitchen at Forest and Field, and I'm with Chef Jim Hahn, and Jim, you are the executive chef at the Farmhouse Inn at Turkey Hill. Yes, that's right correct. In and you're going to prepare something really nice for us today, aren't you? Yeah. What are I'm we gonna, doing? I'm going to do a veal asabuco, okay. which is a slow braised dish from the Lombardy region of Italy. Okay. Um, has a little bit of brown sauce, a little bit of Italian wine, a little bit of tomato root vegetables, and veal shanks. Perfect um, comfort food, right? Yes. All right, yes. let's get started. So to start, we have our, our two veal shanks. They're about the same size. This mm -hmm. would be good for, for two people. Okay. We're going to liberally salt and pepper, mm -hmm. fresh ground pepper. What makes something awesome buco? Awesome buco um, generally means bone with a hole in it. So the bone that you see here is the foreshank of the calf, and it, has, it contains a lot of marrow oh, in the I middle gotcha. of it which contains a lot of flavor as well. All right. Um, and what happens is after it gets rendered out, it adds a lot of flavor to the dish. And what we're gonna do first is brown it off. So we have a saute pan here. I like to use a light olive oil. Take the shanks, put the seasoned side down. So that's going to what, seal in the juices, the flavors? Yes, yes. Right. We're gonna sear in the juices. Uh, we're gonna brown it on both sides. Um, depending on the size of the shank, sometimes I will, will even sear off the sides. Mm -hmm. These are about an inch and a half, two inches thick. So what's going to happen is that'll render down when we put it in the oven. This is not a quick dish. This, uh, this can take anywhere from three to six hours, depending on the size of the shanks and how many you're doing. So there's lots of love that goes into there this is. dish, I'll tell you. There right. is, but it's worth it. So we got a little bit of color. And you can see that the, the marrow inside the bone oh, is yeah. already starting to soften yes. a little bit. We're going to leave the heat on our pan, our saute pan. We're going to transfer our shanks. These shanks look great. And at this point, we're going to add our root vegetables. Uh, okay. So I have about a quarter inch to a half an inch dice, depending on what you like, of uh, celery, carrots, and onion. Nice. It goes right into the saute pan. And we're basically just rendering them down, sweating them out a little bit. All right. We don't need to cook them all the way. So it's just going to get added to the pan? This will be added well? to there as long with, okay. with, with a couple other things as all well. All right. Nice. All right. Once they start to cook down and the onions start to get a little translucent, now they're not cooked all the way. I'd say mm -hmm. maybe they're cooked a quarter of the way right now. We're going to take some minced garlic for two of them here. I like a lot of garlic, so I've got about maybe two tablespoons. And I know it's hard with the masks on, but really you only want to saute garlic until you can really start to smell it. Okay. You don't want to burn garlic because it uh, gets bitter. Right. So now we add the fun part. Mm -hmm. I'm using a Montepulcino, uh, the Bruzzo, which is an Italian red wine. And we're just going to cover the bottom of the pan about halfway up our vegetables. Wow. And we're going to turn the heat up a little bit. Bring that to a boil so it reduces by about a quarter. You don't want to reduce it too much because it's still going to be going into the oven for several hours. All right. All right. So we're almost done here, almost ready to get into the oven. All right. All we need to do is I have some imported Italian tomatoes, either diced tomatoes or sliced or strips. These are strips. And then I'm going to add some dried herbs. Mm -hmm. I just have some dried thyme. And you don't add a lot of it. I would say for two people, maybe a half a teaspoon. And then finally, what we have here is some prepared demi-glace. Uh, demi-glace is a reduced veal stock, which takes a couple days to make. Uh, you put it in a pot, veal bones in a pot with water, boil them down, boil them down, boil them down. A lot of people don't have time to do that. Right, <laughs> right. So even if you use like a, a beef bone broth or mm -hmm. a beef stock or beef broth or something along those lines. This is a little thicker. All right, so we're just gonna heat this through. At this point, we're ready to go into the oven. It's got really thickened up, almost like a stew, isn't it? really it? does, yeah. Yeah, the wine will help that. Once you start reducing the wine, it will thicken up a little bit. And it will thicken up when it's in the oven as well. So we're gonna take it off the heat and transfer this into here. And you really just wanna 
go almost three quarters of the way up of your shanks. I like to cover it with tin foil. Mm -hmm. And that's going to go into a preheated 375 degree oven, depending on the size of your shanks. Mm -hmm. Anywhere, like I said, from three to six hours. Wow. I would give this at least three hours. The, the cut of meat itself is generally tough. Mm -hmm. That's why you need to braise it. Gotcha. It'll, it'll render down, the fat will render down, and it'll make a very juicy piece of meat. Chef Han, this looks fabulous. Thank you. It's quite the dish, and we really appreciate you coming here to Forest and Field to prepare it for us here in this demo kitchen. It's, well, it's been a lot of fun. Thank you very much. I enjoyed it. We want to just remind everybody that uh, Forest and Field, what it's all about. Right. It's a beautiful showcase room. Um, it's got all kinds of kitchen and bath accessories, uh, appliances, cabinetry, doors, anything you could possibly want when you're making a new home. It really is great because it's like a one-stop shop area. It's a treat for the eyes because you can actually see and touch and everything that's here that you may potentially want to use when you're uh, doing a building or remodel project. Exactly. And why don't you tell everybody where it's located? Um, it's located in the Columbia County Business Park right off of exit 236 off of Interstate 80. They're open six days a week from 830 until 530. Very easy to get to, plenty of parking and a great staff to help you. They're on Instagram, uh, Facebook, and they also have a website. Thanks again, Chef. We really appreciate it. Thank you for having me. You're welcome.